Hello, my name is Lord Voldemort, but you can call me the Dark Lord. I've heard this thing called the Reading Rush is happening, or Booktubeathon. I don't really know. My good friend Bridget asked me to come on her channel and do a cooking show for you all. I decided I was going to bake you all something very British because, as we all know, I'm from Britain. I'm going to be making some blueberry scones. It says it's just add water, mix, and bake, and I like that. I like something fast and quick. I Yes, we got to read the instructions, even Dark Lords read instructions. Preheat oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit? Who uses Fahrenheit? Celsius is the way to go. You muggles need to figure it out. Americans, am I right? I got a bowl. Boom. Those are always good. I got three quarter cup water. Oh, it says two thirds. I messed up. Perfect. This is our best to cut people with. In this case, I suppose we're just going to be cutting open this package. Look at that. My friend Bridget gave me this muggle device to record other things close up, so I guess I'll be doing that. Muggles can be useful for some things, I suppose. Look it, it's the mixture up close. There it is. You see the blueberries? You see the water? We're gonna combine. Woo! I messed up, boys. Again, I need a fork, not a spoon. We'll get these scones made in the end. I'm a bit messy, as you can see. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I should film a close-up of this. Wow, I should be a cinematographer. <laughs> Just kidding. I love killing people more than that. Some stunning stirring action. My foot keeps falling off, but I need it on because then I look cool. Also, because then you can't see my bald head, and we all know that's a tragedy. I didn't want to lose my hair. I had such a nice head of hair as a child. When well, you got one too many horcruxes, first goes the nose, then the hair. That's what they all say. Just kidding, it's just me because I'm the only one who has that many horcruxes because obviously I'm a genius. I'll never die. All just one big glob. Also, I can't actually eat this because I just got my wisdom teeth out. That's right, guys. I'm actually a child. My wizard dentist was very good. Got it out right with magic, but my mouth still hurts. Don't think I'll be able to eat any sores foods for a while. I will find a muggle to try this for me. I also need a baking sheet, parchment paper. I understand parchment paper. It's basically just paper. First tray we found. Well, I don't think 12 are gonna fit on here. Here's an even bigger pan. It's not that much bigger. So I found it guys. We are in the clear. Here we go. We're taking a big risk guys. This is the kind of risk you want to take in baking. We want to drop heaping tablespoons. Oh, how dare you interrupt me? I'm the Dark Lord. Tablespoon, we're good, everybody. I don't know if we're gonna fit 12 on here, but we can try. Oh, my cloak is getting in the way. One. Ooh, it looks good. Two. This is a biggie. Wow, we can count to four. Oh, I guess we can fit 12 on here. You know, that's good enough. That's how you know your baking's good when you say that's good enough. Quality. And 12. Still have a little bit of mixture left in the bowl. So we're gonna put those on the other ones that seem kind of small. This is some hard work. Look, guys, only the best can do it. Just how you know you're in my forces. If I tell you to bake me scones, that's how you know you've made it. I only let my top guys bake me scones. Lucius Malfoy, making scones all day long. That's a snake. He loves making scones for me. And I know they do it by hand and don't just have their house elves do it. How do I know? Well, they tell me so. If they don't tell me the right thing, I torture them. There's just a sort of quality that comes with doing it yourself. I've heard that's DIYing in the muggle world. While I am not a fan and muggles. I do find that turn endearing. Hopefully they don't merge. They're a little close here. One can only hope. I just sent my servant to set an alarm for 14 minutes. So I guess we have some time to chat. I heard there's a good web series called Ravenclaw Rules. You can check it out. I know a new episode's going up today, whatever that is. Quite boring. Waiting here. What? I heard she kills the main character at the end. I love that. I love killing people. While we're waiting, I heard you should subscribe to this channel, whatever that means. Heard she makes some good content. Though it is from Bridget that I've heard that, so she could be biased. And I heard you can like this video if you enjoyed it. I definitely know I enjoyed cooking. I'm not off killing people or torturing people for information. I love to just sit down and bake. Comment down below. You love scones as much as I do. If you don't, I'll torture you! God, I want to kill Harry Potter! Grow my babies! Oh my gosh, they're ready!
that beautiful? Like magic, they were so instant. When will you be done? I guess I have to wait for them to cool and someone else to try them. A good tip for getting someone else to try your food is to let them know that if they don't like it, they will die. Or you torture them until they say they love it. Those are the only two options. We really want positivity in our feedback on how good our food is. Dark Lord does not settle for second best. Yes, I know I talk about myself in third person sometimes. Mind of Strange, justified as a monumental figure such as myself. Dark Lord, I'm very influential. As Voldemort, I'm very, very chill. I bake in my spare time. But as the Dark Lord, I'm a murderer. I am going to take over the world. Please don't confuse the two. You're a peasant, so you can't call me Voldemort. That's only for my very close friends. I know it can be very tricky, but don't do it. I found a muggle to try my food. Okay, give it a try. What do you think? Really good. Yes, as you can see, my food is a real success. These scones are amazing, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I guess Bridget will see you tomorrow with another Reading Rush Challenge. Thanks for watching. Bye.